So you may have it set up on your system that you open up your file manager, you can plug in a USB drive, flash drive, SD card, external hard drive, and you're able to mount it without typing in a password. But when you go to your shell and you run the mount command, it requires you to type in a password and use sudo. How can we get around this? This is something you may or may not want to do. Different people have different opinions on it. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's dive right in. Okay, I'm holding my flash drive here. I will plug it into a USB port. And in a moment, it should pop up right here. There we go. I can click on it. And you can see that uh, it mounts without me having to type in a password. I can also click here to unmount it. Let's go ahead and open up my file manager again. I'll unplug that flash drive. Now let's go to our shell. Now. First, let's figure out what flash drive this is, what drive it is. So you could easily just list, uh, and it's most likely a, a SD, and we can do this. You can see what drives are currently attached. I'll plug in this flash drive, run that command again, and you can see now we have SDE with partitions one and two. There are two partitions on this flash drive. Uh, other things you can do is you can list block devices. That will also list things. You can see uh, SDE there, and if I unplug it, you can see that it is gone. So now we know that it's drive SDE and I want to mount partition one. So I'm going to plug in my drive again, clear my screen here. Now if I say mount device SDE one, it's going to tell me that it's not an FSAP, so it doesn't know where to mount it. So I can tell it where to mount it. I can say mount it at MNT because there's nothing there, but then it's going to tell me you need to be super user to mount this. Why do I need to be super user here if I can mount it in my GUI interface without a password. Uh, well, let me check out my groups here. One of the things you need to make sure is that you have uh, plug dev here. You want to be part of that group that allows you to mount pluggable devices. But we're not going to use the mount command. What we're going to do is sudo apt install pmount. Now, I already have this installed, so I can run that and it will tell me that it's already installed. So how do we use pmount? Similar to how you would use mount. I can say pmount dev SDE one and I don't even have to if it's in F stab it should mount it uh, where you have things set up in F stab that's how I say that file name I don't know if other people say it different um, the uh, but if not it's just going to mount it under media and the name of the device so p mount our device and now if I run the mount command to see what's mounted you can see that it's mounted right here and I can CD into that directory. Let's clear the screen and list what's in there. You can see what's in there and you can also see that it's already mounted here inside my GUI. Now if I go back to the to um, my shell here, let me go ahead and move out of that directory and to unmount it, once you have pmount installed, it's just pu mount. And we can say dev sde1. Okay, and now it is unmounted. Great. Now it's actually even simpler. So we told it the full path to where the device is, but it's smart enough that if I just say SDE1, it knows to look in my device folder. So I don't even have to do that. I can just do P mount SDE1 and it says it's, oh, sorry, P mount, not PU mount. And again, I can go into media SDE1 and list out the files. And if I move out of that, I can run the same command. I can say PU mount. SDE1 and now it's unmounted and if I try to move into that directory again it doesn't exist. So that is how you can mount things uh, without having a type of password if that's what you do. It all depends on what users use your machine and who you trust. You may or may not want to do this but if you want to that is how it's done. I do thank you for watching and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day.